Hello morning everyone, so my name is Jara, thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you a phone or share with you my user experience on a phone Oppo Reno 6Z 5G. Well, this is the second phone that I use using Di MediaTek Diamond City or so-called MediaTek chipset. Um, well, I don't know how it goes but let's test it out and see how the performance and hopefully you like this video so you haven't subscribed and follow my channel please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i see you in the next session let's go hello my name is jared thank you for watching this video today i'm going to test the front camera of reno 6z uh, with the 32 megapixels uh, front and uh, front camera and i'm recording using 1080p without the uh, anti-shake mode so as you can see it's a little bit shaky because I'm basically uh, handheld with my one arm length and, uh, and uh, that's why I walk around now basically I think this actually I like this uh, I tested out Reno 4, Reno 5 and uh, this Reno 6 is I like it very much actually I've been testing using for a few days uh, first and foremost, uh, MediaTek really performed very stable, uh, not very battery consumption like the other uh, uh, SOC and I can get really a one and a half day juice out of it and I'm recording this um, using without mic, uh, external mic, just directly from the camera walking and now it's the almost like evening time so as you can see a bit cloudy with the 180p i believe this phone is doing a very good job with the camera and here is a little bit like uh, struggling there because of the uh, hdr not able to kick in but uh, from facial expression wise i believe this is really doing very good it's capturing the, like my face my background a little bit like a dynamic range you can do a little bit blur not really blur kind of things once again this is a mid-range phone with a 32 megapixels front camera now later on i'm going to switch on to the anti-shake mode for a while because we just want to show you how it crop it out and how uh, stabilized it can be okay let's switch it to the stabilization mode Hello, welcome back. Now uh, I switch it to uh, stabilization mode. As you can see, the uh, the wide angle view is a little bit narrow narrow now because they're using a software to calculate the anti shake mode. I'm still walking around and talking. Uh, you can see it's less shaky, and uh, well, basically the uh, quality of the video did not change much. Neither is better or worse off because as you can see the sky here is still a little bit. Uh, under expo kind of things but once again capturing my face with the sunset in the background is really good job it's really doing a really really good job on this this mid-range camera okay so let's try it out the uh, back camera see you in a short while Hello guys, uh, now I switch to the back camera, it's shooting using the main sensor 100, uh, 1080p 60 frames per second and this is where I was shooting with myself in the front facing camera and this is the back, using back camera as you can see nothing much changed here uh, I believe the main sensor and the front camera sensor is doing almost a very good job at the same time now this is the sky as I was mentioning that is a little bit overexposed or underexposed when I was using front camera. As you can see, you can see the clouds, uh, sunset color yellowish, dark cloud on the top. This is three leaves, and actually there is some like a layering cloud behind me. It was behind me just now using front camera. If you want to see how good is the front cameras. Uh, I mean the back camera look like I will just switch it out over here Ta-da! Okay, I don't know what I'm doing right now But basically I'm just held holding and uh, using back camera shooting myself The portrait mode, I hope you can see some uh, better dynamic range Because I'm using the so-called the back camera with the better sensor 
and uh, just let's walk around. Once again, this is 10 ATP, 10 ATP, uh, 60 frames per second, without turning on the MD shake mode or the stabilization mode. So because this is a normal view, I hopefully it will give you a better like a result on that. Later, I just try it out using turning on the EIS stabilization mode and see how it goes. Okay. Let's Hello, welcome back. Start here. Now this is the uh, back camera 10 ADP 60 frames per second but with the stabilization mode turned on so I try to run a bit you can see the quality a little bit shaky because they're trying to get the adjustment and once again this is a uh, not optical stabilization this is EIS electro stabilization using software so you can um, well, the first and foremost, the effect is that basically is that you can see it's definitely more stable as I walk around. You don't really feel that shaky. And uh, the quality, once again, this time Oppo did very good. Uh, the with or without the stabilization mode, the quality did not drop. It just cropped off and uh, give you the, uh, how we call that, give you a software type of stabilization and one of the things that it did again, promote right? a lot is that the dual wheel which is uh, meant for vlogging and uh, this phone was launched like easily uh, two years around two years and nowadays all these android phones will come with this dual wheel so nothing surprised but just want to test it out this is the uh, function of it that you can have a uh, split wheel and it can have another type of wheel which is like a round circle type you can change to this view whereby you can have a round circle type on top here and I also can move my face to somewhere else that is maximized to this fourth third of the screen anywhere in this screen so it's much more easier to do that so well once again this is the testing on that and I uh, hope you enjoy the video here bye holding this phone so basically you have uh, watched the video comparisons on the front facing cameras back facing cameras some still pictures and some pocket effect and some uh, like the dual wheel camera features so overall if I want to give a mark on the camera performance I will give it around 7 or 8 now I can't give 9 or 10 the reason is that after I, I did the post processing on my personal computer then I realized that the photo quality is not as sharp as supposed to be it's just that the color pop up a bit uh, oversaturated uh, thus when I was doing the recording on the phone it looked really nice uh, appealing to the eyes but once you put on the computer screens with uh, I would say better color uh, comparison then I realized it is not as uh, my up to my expectation in a way but overall don't get me wrong it's still seven or eight for a mid-range phone and at, at performance and once again the uh, when it's doing the video recordings on the stabilization mode the video really jerking around uh, uh, when you're trying to do the autofocus or like trying to uh, counter uh, counter the shaking mode right uh, so this phone basically is very nice uh, it has a kind of like changing rainbow color at the back uh, I like it because it's flat screen okay not the uh, Reno 6 Pro curved screen as I mentioned uh, many times I really don't like curved screens okay so this flat screen uh, flat screen uh, 
and then uh, for the heart rate performance you can check out at GSM Arena but just want to show you a few things three things that very surprised to me first so the wildlife stress test is basically 20 minutes of uh, wildlife uh, stress test on it it has an amazing performance whereby it can score up to 98% stability and then the, the battery just drops like 6% and then the temperatures went up 2% although it's the mid the frame rate is like between 6 to 14 but once again this mid range phone with a very high stability performance I'm pretty impressed about it and second is that the the read and write test on the storage so as per the advertise this is like read is 585 mega per second Per second and right is three four five megabyte per second so it's around the us fs 2.0 range hardware spec because when you pair with the, how we call that the media tech processors with the ram so a bit slower i'm not too sure maybe i have too much uh, uh program in it then affect the uh, performance but two five hundred over read and write speed is quite a decent one for me as well okay so these are the two things uh, that I want to mention here that this Reno 6Z is really uh, I would say I'm really really happy about it I don't finally before I end the video there's another last session about me playing the uh, mobile legend game test it can be uh, stabilized around 60 frames per second so over if you ask me is it a really good buy on this phone at this uh, second hand market I will say yes by all means go ahead 8 gig RAM 128 GB storage with a battery life 4310 mAh I'm sure you will love this phone as much as I do. Uh, with that, uh, that's all for me. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Jared. I like to do this tech review as a hobby. If you like the content I'm creating, please remember to support me. Click the like, comment, and follow, subscribe button. I see you in my next video. Bye.